All right, so let's answer a quick question in case that helps you, okay? Here is one way to get a .ccx file into your Adobe Creative Cloud if you're having trouble. Double clicking usually works, but if it doesn't, there's this sort of convoluted workaround. Keep in mind, as the title says, this is strictly for Mac. There are other ways for Windows, and hopefully we'll get a video up on that as well. So what you need to do is track down your CCX file. In this case, it's MBPSKN, um, because that's what we're talking about today. But yet any .ccx file that when you double click, if it won't open, try this, okay? So you want to right click it, okay? And you're going to go to open with, and then you go to other. Okay. And when you're here, you can be presented with a lot of things, but most of the time it's going to take you to the applications folder. We don't need to be there. We want to go to, to in this case, MVP 500, but we want to go to the main hard drive, right? Okay. And we're going to go to library and we're going to go to application support, Adobe, Adobe common. That's Adobe desktop common. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to come down here to remote components. And inside there is a folder called UPI. And inside there is Unified Plugins Installer Agent. And inside there is, in fact, the program you want. So you click on Always Open With, Open. Okay. And that way it knows what's going on. So when you double click it, it immediately triggers the Creative Cloud. So that's a quick thought for you there. Again, if you're a Mac user, this will help a lot. Of course, it's going to now ask me if I want to install something I already have, so I'm going to hit cancel. But anyway, I hope that helps. Um, we'll go over that one more time, just in case. You can always rewind this video, but right click, say open with other. Okay. You want to go back to your main hard drive. Okay. You want to go to library, application support, Adobe, Adobe Desktop Common, remote components, UPI, unified plugins, agent, inst uh, installer agent. Select it. And I would also check the always open with. See if that helps you out. Um, Windows people, like I said, we're going to have a video hopefully soon. This seems to be a solution for some Mac users. So we thought we'd let you guys know.